everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to In the Little Box! Yeah, we've got tons of mail, and there's now dust everywhere. <laughs> anyway, hello, welcome back, it's the brand new channel, we've rebranded, we've spiced things up a little bit, the inbox logo is ever so slightly different, but the address is exactly the same, and that sounds so scripted, that was really good of me. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is a show, if you're brand new to the channel, where I open all of the mail that people send in to me, um, I don't reply to it all, unfortunately, I do a reply to the odd one or two so a few people might be lucky but this is very likely to be a lot of Christmas mail but that's fine it's Valentine's Day today so I thought opening mail and cards and letters and hearing a lot of love and feedback from people would be really really nice to do so let's get in to a red one Ooh, this sounds lovely oh it's to me and Kai actually this is quite nice so this is definitely gonna be a Christmas card I like that we're doing an episode in Feb which <laughs> is gonna be Christmas cards Yup, yup, those, those are penguins wearing scarves and woolly hats. I like it, I like it. <laughs> okay, if you want to send any mail to this show, by the way, the link is in the description. Uh, you can also find it on the website, yogscast.com as well. Uh, and this says, Dear Kai, Martin, Kiki and Pascal. They're my cats, by the way, if you don't know. Uh, it says, Happy Holidays to your family. Hope you like the card. It's a charity one for you and Kai. Oh yeah, I love that. If people ever do this, because it is my birthday at the start of April, so if you feel like sending me a birthday card when, when that comes around, I'd really like it if it could be for a good cause or at least you know recyclable and all that kind of thing just little by little you know we can help save the world a little bit anyway i can't wait for this year i love all of the videos on the little dream and kiki and pascal are the cutest kitties ever they they literally are <laughs> like if you haven't seen them before they are the best i'll try and put a picture on the screen right now uh, but they are egyptian moors uh they're kind of like these little silver snow leopards and if you want a cat that's really personable uh you can keep in the house so it will never run away and it has to love you forever then that is like the perfect breed to get you should totally do that but I love them to bits they're like my own children so I've got a few questions for you uh, what is your favorite alcoholic drink <laughs> that's, that's not something I ever thought I'd get asked on this um you know what I'd probably have to say like Jack Daniels I think Jack Daniels and Coke I can't drink it neat it's a little bit too strong for me but I just like the ever so slight kick it gives you up the butt and actually the other day uh, I went to the shop and they now do it in cans so like Jack Daniels actually do like a cola can with it in and it's got like the right level of mix and stuff it was so good. Failing that, I like the girly looking drinks. You know, the quite sweet ones. They're kind of like the cherry and the raspberry flavoured ones. As long as it's got an umbrella. If it doesn't have an umbrella, or it doesn't have little, like, dust trimming the outline, I don't want it. You can take that crap back. Oh, God. This uh, this <laughs> this fits the Valentine's theme really well. The next question is, was it love at first sight when you first met Kai? And uh, yes, yes, she's going to not let me live that down, but it kind of was. Uh, we'd already spoken, okay, just so people are aware. We'd already spoken on Skype for a uh, hundred plus hours ahead of meeting each other in person so it was bound to be legit at that point wasn't it because if you think about it people that gen generally date in the normal world they might meet somebody once maybe twice a week for drinks for an hour or two multiply that by 50 and you already should probably be living with that person <laughs> so it's a lot of time invested but yes it was it was love at first sight and it's our anniversary well it's just gone actually it's every January 5th is when we met I remember that and we first met, as in like, we met on Skype, we first met on November 29th, and her birthday is August 21st. I passed the boyfriend test! What is the naughtiest thing the kittens have done? Um, I think, other than the general pooping everywhere at the minute, I think <laughs> probably the naughtiest thing they've done happened yesterday. Apparently Kiki just like jumped onto the sofa where Kai was lying down, she sat on her stomach, and then just threw up all over her! <laughs> It sounds so gross, but that is definitely the worst thing they've done. Like, you know, they chew cardboard and stuff like that, but generally they're really good. Like, they don't ever touch human food. We were really good about not giving them human food when we first got them, and they just don't bother. It's absolutely fantastic. What did you want to be when you were little? I know this is going to sound corny, and I'm pretty sure I've already shared this in a previous PO Box video, but I've always said that I always wanted to do a job that made as many people happy at the same time as possible. That is probably why I went down the whole, like, radio presenting route just because you're broadcasting to a ton of people you play their favorite songs and that felt like a great feeling and now having you know 1.2 million subscribers which still scares the crap out of me uh, but knowing you know people send these letters and everyone's genuinely happy and fun I think I, I think I've made it I think I am what I wanted to be when I was little apparently you changed your mind a lot when you were little uh, you wanted to be a vet a history teacher or a forensic scientist oh like proper Dexter type stuff and then you realized you had to be super smart yeah I know 
I, I got average grades in school, so I, I know that pain. But now I'm chasing the dream of being a super awesome bartending farmer who has a number one novel. <laughs> wow, that's like three different jobs in one. That's, that's brilliant. I love that your aspirations are set so high. Nobody should ever think, I can't do this, I can't do that. Just do it. Like I saw an Emma Watson tweet where a girl was like, my dad says I can't be an engineer because it's a man's job. And she's like, how do I get back at him? And she's like, become an engineer. Just do it. Honest to God. I went for a job interview once where um, it was for a web design company and it was only because that's what I studied at university. But at that point, I'd already fallen in love with YouTube and making, you know, radio shows and stuff. And I kid you not, the moment that I shook the guy's hand at the entrance to the building, my stomach just fell out my ass. I just felt so sick and so horrible. And not going after your dreams and not doing what you love every day is a job. I just don't think that's a life to live. So go after your ambitions, chase them, be what you want to be. You can do it. And there we go. It says, I hope you have an amazing Christmas and that the new year brings all your desires. And that is lots of love from Ruben Selenia. That is a cool name. I'm going to open up this thing next because it's kind of a package. I tend to alternate letter package, letter package, mainly to save space in my office. But also as well, this has been sat here now for literally weeks. And I really, really wanted to know what's inside of it. I'd like to think it's a magazine or a poster or something like that. Something really cool. Come on, there you go. All right, we're getting it open. Oh, it is some kind of book. Ooh. Ooh, I think I see the Angry Birds logos on it. Oh, I do. And I just wanted to clarify as well, actually, that there is absolutely zero pressure to ever send something cool, as in, like, sending something other than a letter. The letters are absolutely fine. Like, I know some YouTubers kind of insist that you send them gifts. Not about that game. Not about that game at all. But uh, this is, whoa, this is an Angry Birds book. Check that out. And there's even a letter attached to the front. So I'm going to try and pull this off without the sellotape ripping up all of the uh, all of the material on this. So it says, Dear Martin, first of all, I wanted to thank you for your great videos. My favourite is still Nino Cooney, the series. Oh, man, I love that series. I, I literally have a shelf dedicated to it in my office. I want them to make a second one. Maybe it probably won't even be of the same universe, but I just want them to make another art. RPG like that. It could be in space or it could be, I don't know, like really mundane and boring, but as long as the mechanics are the same, I would so buy it. Thanks to this series, I bought and played the game too and it was one of the best games I've ever played, so thank you very much for making videos and showing us all of the good games that are out there. Inside the Angry Birds folder, which of course you can keep. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Yeah. I actually do need this because at the moment I'm uh, selling an apartment and buying a house so I actually have a lot of documentation which is just like sprawled on the desk next to me. It's actually having somewhere to put it really really freaking handy like I, I'm glad I opened that now uh, but it says anyway inside the Angry Birds folder are three drawings and some descriptions I hope you like them and that is from Jennifer oh god that's a surname Jennifer Zwiededwin 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 it's Z-U-I-D-E-R-D-U-I-N Zwiedes with <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. No, false to it. I'm just gonna open this up instead. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Uh, let me have a look at these drawings inside of here. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, they're like containing cardboard as well, so they don't get damaged. Good thinking. Very good thinking. I'm just gonna hope that I don't damage them uh, <laughs> and undo all of that good thinking by just tearing this thing open. Here we go. Whoa, there's actually quite a few of them. Oh, you drew me a Vulpix. My favorite Pokemon. Look how adorable that is. If, I think other than my cats, that is the next pet that I would want. So I thought a normal Vulpix was nice, but not special or unique enough. So I wanted to draw you a different kind of Vulpix, one that would look a little bit like your avatar, or at least the style and the colours and such. So I present to you the Saplix. Here we go. Boom. Oh my god. I'm only looking at it in the reflection right now. Oh, that is cool, isn't it? It's even got like a little balaclava around its neck and it's got a headband on. It's even got little sapling swirls on the little like, on the little thing there. That is very, very freaking cool. I am digging that. All right, next description. She's done like flashcards. This is really cool. Um, as I love your Nino Kin, as I love your Nino Kin, uh, Nino Kini, Nino Kini. Uh, yes, I'll have to take a Nino Kini. Smooth. As I love your Nino Kini. <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see Nino Cooney. As I loved your Nino Cooney series so much, there you go. Uh, I decided to draw the cutest and perhaps most useful familiar found in the world. Toko. So Toko, if you don't remember, I think I do. Yeah, okay. So Toko is uh, one that basically grants massive XP. It only appears very randomly, and if you don't kill it before it runs off of the battlefield, you don't get the crazy bonus XP from it. So what people tend to do is, if they're a little bit behind level-wise compared to the story, they would just grind on that mob until they got up to scratch. But as Toko has multiple forms, I've drawn all four of them. Toko, Toko Toko, and Toko Cold, and Docker Toko. Oh god, I didn't realise like their names were that silly. <laughs> okay. 
happy. But there you go, here are all of the tocos and you've actually nailed the style of the actual like thumbnail. You know, like the actual logo for Nino Kuni. You've actually got the font down to spell out the word toco. That is very, very freaking cool. Thank you very much for that. That was from Jennifer, wasn't it? Yes, Jennifer Zwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwidzwid
Marina, there you go, Anna Marina, she's age 13. So it says, Dear In The Little Wood, also known as Martin, you may remember my letter I sent to In The Little Dream. It's Anna, the one who drew Erin. Oh, yes, 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 I do remember. I saw your most recent In The Little Box and thought I would write to back up the other saplings. I may also be fighting depression, haven't been diagnosed yet, and have been self-harming. Oh, that's not good to hear. So I'm not going to read this in full detail, because obviously this might be a trigger to some people, but I will fast forward to the nice part, um, which is kind of on relation on the tail end of it, and it says, The reason you're so helpful to me is because when I feel low, I sometimes watch your videos, and the great part of that is that I've, even if I've had the worst day, you're able to still make me smile, sometimes even hysterically laugh. The real point of this letter is to let you know that a lot of the saplings are grateful for your videos, and you should never stop making your content because you're truly a lifesaver. And if you'd be so kind as to read out this message to all of the saplings, then that would be appreciated. Uh, and she says, even if you're having a bad day, a bad week, or even a bad month, you're not trapped in this sadness. You should fight through it, and I swear, in the end, it will all be worth the time and the effort to stay around. Oh, I think that's a really nice sentiment to leave it on. So there we go. That is it for the PO box or inbox or in the little box, whatever you would like to call it for this week. Uh, that was from Anna Marina. Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, I will continue to read the rest of this off camera just so I can actually take it in and process it. But there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you ever want to send anything to this show, the PO box address is in the description of pretty much every video I upload, or you can find it via the Yogscast website. And uh, I look forward to reading some of your stuff next week, maybe. Bye-bye.